my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new my name is Aaliyah so today's vlog is gonna be a day in the life of a nine to five working woman okay well y'all in my case I work from 8 to 4 45 but y'all get my point so y'all I just woke up I brushed my teeth washed my face and this is pretty much the only thing I do when I first get up in the morning, I'm not one of those people that work from home but still get fully dressed. I seen somebody make a post on Facebook and they was like, even though they work from home, they still like to get up and get dressed because it makes them feel like they're in the office and helps them focus. And the whole time I was reading that, y'all, I was thinking to myself, yeah, you're weird. <laughs> like, I don't do all of that, okay? Like, I be in my robe. I like to feel real comfortable. And then maybe like around noon, I actually get dressed for the day so yeah I'm gonna be in this robe until the end but yeah y'all so I just wanted to come and give y'all a quick little intro it's 7 50 right now so I got 10 minutes before I gotta clock in so yeah let me go in here and cut on my computer sign in and log into everything cuz I pride myself on clocking in on time cuz I feel like if you're not clocking in on time and you work from home then you just trifling and you need to cut it out okay <laughs> so yeah let me get in here log into my computer so i can clock in and let's go ahead and get this day started okay y'all so i just literally clocked in so it's eight o'clock and i'm about to go ahead and start working you know getting my day going but i just want to give y'all like a little rundown on how my day normally goes so like i obviously clock in at eight and then the first thing i normally do is i normally just like check my emails y'all the sun is out this morning but i normally just check my emails and see whatever you know might have come in overnight because y'all know i get off at 4 45 and we work with a bunch of different companies on different time zones so a lot of times when i'm off some people in other parts of the world are still at work so they still writing me or emailing me or whatever so i just check um whatever emails i get Sidebar, let me tell y'all what I actually do so y'all can understand. I work for an insurance company that does workers' comp claims. So if people work and get hurt on a job and then they have to start going to therapy, we have workers' comp therapy. So that's what I do. And I'm in a billing department, so I don't talk to anybody um, besides providers. I don't talk to like clients and people who have the um insurance i pretty much just talk to anybody that's working in the facility that they're getting treatment at sometimes i don't talk to anybody i might go the whole day without talking to anybody if i can't get anybody on the phone and i'm just leaving a message or sending an email so yeah that's pretty much my job i've been at this job for like three years i'll be I'll be four years in July. So in July, I would make four years. And um, I actually really do like my job. You know, it's very laid back. It's very, very chill. You know, it's cool. And I really did like my team. I got along with everybody on my team. Of course, I haven't seen them in about a year now, which y'all, it's so crazy to think that I've literally been working from home for like a year. And we have been working from home at this point since March. Since March. We've been working from home since March of 2020. So in just a few weeks, y'all, we will literally have been working from home for a year. I will never forget. We started working from home like as soon as I got back from our trip to Puerto Rico last year. If y'all were not subscribed to me when I went to Puerto Rico, y'all need to go on my channel and scroll down. You might have to scroll a while and watch my Puerto Rico vlogs. But we went to Puerto Rico last year in March and y'all literally... The minute I came back, like a week later, they hadn't started sending us home. So yeah, I have not really seen anybody, but I love working from home, y'all. I really, really do. And it's so crazy because we wasn't really expecting to be working from home for this long. So y'all, I don't really even have no official like desk and setup like I know I should. But the reason why is because my house already is small. I have like a one bedroom apartment and I feel like I'm already cramped for space. So at the time, I didn't want to get no desk and do like a whole setup if we was only going to be working from home for like six months or whatever. But now it's been a year and they still haven't officially told us if it's going to be permanent or not. 
So I'm still not really rushing to get nothing right now because I don't have no space for it. And it's also like I'll be moving soon, so what's the point? So anyways, y'all, I'm about to go ahead and start checking my emails. I'm going to come back whenever I decide to take my first break. Because my job is so lenient and it's so laid back, it's always been like this even when we was in the office. We're able to choose whenever we want to take our breaks. The only exceptions is our 15-minute breaks cannot be taken within the first and last hour of our shift. So I work from 8 to 4.45. I cannot take my break, my first break until 9, and I can't take my last break no later than 3.45. So it's like the last and first hour of the shift, you're not able to take your break. Anytime after that, you can take your 15 minute break whenever you want to. And then as far as lunch goes, we can take our lunch break whenever we want to. I think it has to be afternoon. And then I think that you gotta clock back in from lunch no later than three. So I always take my lunch break at 2.15. Um, and I clock in at three o'clock. That's the only thing that's steady is my lunch break time. My 15 minute breaks, I just take them whenever I feel like it. Most of the time I take them whenever I start getting hungry. So, so yeah, I just want to fill y'all in on that. Let me go ahead and get started on my work, check my emails, get my day going. And I will come check in with y'all when I take my first break. <music> So I'm in the line at Starbucks, okay? I'm taking my first break. I just came up here to get an iced coffee. So right now it's 11.30 and y'all, normally I would have taken my break a little bit earlier, but long story short, my apartments, they was going around doing smoke detector inspections today. So I decided to take my break whenever they came so that I could leave because they told us they was going to need us to leave out for about 15 minutes. So I was like, I might as well take my break whenever they come so I can just leave out then. So that's why I'm here now getting me just an iced coffee to go with my breakfast. I got a breakfast burrito and some sausage. So I'm going to just get a vanilla iced coffee. Y'all, the one thing I do miss about working in the building was that we had this big cafe cafeteria that had like the best food and then downstairs they had like this little like bistro and it had like iced coffee little sandwiches soup and stuff like that and it used to be so cheap like it used to be so inexpensive and then we also had a chick-fil-a and a firehouse sub all in the same building so the one thing i do miss about being in the building is all that good food i used to be getting but then again y'all i used to always be spending money like in the morning time i used to go downstairs and get a vanilla iced coffee and y'all they iced coffee used to be so freaking good and it used to be like two dollars for like a large so i used to get that and then i used to go to the cafeteria and get whatever was a part of the special for the Day because every day they had a special except for Fridays. Hold on, y'all. I'm about to order. Hi, welcome to Den Avenue Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Yes, can I get a grande vanilla iced coffee with extra vanilla sweetener? What else can I get for you? And that's it. You want any cream in that? Yes, ma'am. All right, your total is three fifty. Thank you. So yeah, y'all. Like I was saying, that's the one thing that I do miss about being in the office. Other than that, I love working from home, and I'm almost to the front. So I think I should definitely be back. And by the time I get back, they should be gone. So y'all, today I'm gonna go um to walk this trail that's by my house and i did it earlier this week and i had a really good time it was really nice out and it's really nice out today like right now it's 76 so it just feel really really good but um the other day it was just really nice and i went out there when i got off work and i just walked around for like an hour an hour and a half and i just felt really good afterwards i feel like i need to start back getting more active because i think working from home it just it's easy to get like lazy and feel like a couch potato. I just feel so lazy sometimes, basically. For me, I was already a homebody. So when I was not at work, I was always at home. So now that I work from home, I'm always at home. And the only time I really leave out is if I'm going to like my mama house, going to like 
um, my sister house or if I'm going to the grocery store because I don't really go out like that. And if I do, it's just like every once in a while. So, you know, it's like I just be feeling so lazy sometimes and I want to start being more active because at least when I was working in the building, we had to park across the street in a parking garage. So like in the parking garage, I had to park on like the sixth floor. Then we had to still walk all the way across the street to the building. And then in the building, we was on the seventh floor. So like, I did have a little bit of exercise throughout the day. Like if I went out to my car on my break, or if I went to go get lunch, or if I went to go do something, or just going back and forth every day, it was like some type of exercise. And it's like now, some days when I got my groceries in the house and you know, I'm in my zone and I don't feel like leaving out the house. Some days I don't leave out the house at all. So it's like, I'm just not not being as active as I should. So I was like, I'm gonna just start walking, you know, put my little waist belt on. And I did that on Tuesday and it was actually really, really bomb. I just felt really good afterwards because, you know, it's not a long trail, but it is a little walk. And I was listening to my music and, you know, the sun was going down, but it was like really nice outside. And I just felt good afterwards. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start doing this like a few times out the week. So we gonna go do that today when I get off. We're going to go right out there because it's a trail like right up the street from my house. So that's what we're going to go do. And yeah, um, I think I'm going to cook later too. I think I'm going to make some tuna salad and then make sandwiches. And then I'm going to get some chips and put it on the side. So that's going to be my dinner for tonight. So we're going to do that too. So yeah, when I get off work at 445, we're going to go and get out of the house for a little minute i hate that i can't really like vlog as much as i would want to while i'm actually working but it's nothing that i would be able to show y'all because i can't show y'all anything that i'm doing on the computer we work with people like personal information social security numbers addresses and stuff like that so it's like i can't show y'all anything on the computer so it's only so much that i can vlog plus i don't want to bore y'all so Gotta get an iced coffee. Yes, ma'am. How much was it? Ooh, I got that exactly. There you go. Thank you. Okay, y'all. So I'm about to head back to the house. Let me try this real quick. Make sure it's how I like it. Or I'm gonna turn around. No, I'm just playing. I don't got time to turn around. Oh yeah, this is real good. All right, y'all. So I'm about to head back home. I'm gonna see y'all when I get there. Okay, y'all. So I just got back home. Here's my breakfast. I got a burrito and this has like cheese, bacon, egg, sausage in it. And then I have four pieces of sausage, grapes, and my iced coffee. So I'm about to go back over to my desk, start back working and eat y'all because I am so hungry. I'm so full, y'all. I just got done eating, but I wanted to come and show y'all this menu. Y'all know my greedy ass used to have it saved in my computer. So this was the breakfast specials they had, y'all. And I told y'all, you used to get a lot of food for just a little bit of money. Like $2.50 for all this food. And then I used to go downstairs to the coffee shop and get an iced coffee. Mm. Anyways, all right, let me get back to work, y'all. Okay, y'all, so right now it's 2.20. I clocked out for lunch at 2.15, so... Um, now I'm just about to eat and take a little nap before I clock back in. So y'all know I take my lunch break from 2.15 to 3 and then I get off at 4.45. So when I get off, I won't have much longer. So I'm just about to sit down and eat and then lay down for a minute. I just want to show y'all what I was eating. I will see y'all when I get off work. Okay, y'all. So I just literally clocked off. Now... Um, I'm about to get ready because I'm about to head out, go to the grocery store, get my groceries, and then y'all, we're going to go take a little walk while the sun go down. So this is what I'm going to be wearing. These are like some little workout yoga pants that I got from, I got these from either Walmart or Target a long, long time ago. I don't remember. And then I'm going to just wear this top because y'all, it's actually really hot outside and it feel really good, which is another reason why I thought it was perfect for me to get out here and get my ass up and just be active. Cause it's really, really nice outside. It's not raining. 
you know, it's like perfect. So I'm finna um, just change it to my clothes. I have my sweet sweat belt that I'm gonna be wearing. Um, this is in a size medium. And then I'm gonna be using my enhancer. I think these are like some running shoes, walking shoes. I don't know. I bought these off Amazon a while ago when I was like trying to get into going to the gym and stuff. And I bought them because from what I seen on the reviews, they were really comfortable and good for working out. But y'all, of course, I never used them enough to really know. So yeah, but that's just what I'm gonna be wearing. Let me go ahead and get dressed. I think I'm gonna just go get my groceries first because I really don't want to go in the store, you know, sweaty. Okay, y'all, so I'm here at Walmart. Y'all know what I'm coming to get. Like I told y'all, I'm gonna just make some tuna sandwiches and I'm gonna just have some chips on the side. So I'm not really gonna be in here long because I only have a few things that I need to get. Um, I hope that they have the bread that I want, y'all. It's a certain bread that I want. y'all so i'm out here and um i was just getting me a good little vibe on my way here y'all listening to my uh playlist i'm gonna have to put y'all on my playlist y'all like it's the bomb it feels really good out here y'all like honestly i don't need no jacket or nothing it feels really great it's not too hot and it's not too cold and y'all know i got this waist trainer on so it's not like uncomfortable y'all know how like you already got on a waist trainer so it's tight and then it's hot so it just make it even more uncomfortable like no it feel really really good and so the waist trainer just feel real comfortable and it don't feel like it's just you know too tight and it's like the sun is out but I'm over here by all these trees and stuff, so you can't really see it. But it's like the sun is out, but it's not hot. And that's how I like it. I don't like when it just be too hot. So yeah, y'all, I'm thoroughly enjoying myself out here. And I will most definitely be back. <laughs> for about an hour and maybe like 15 minutes um i walked the trail twice and it's a decent little trail so i did it twice and y'all now i'm about to go home i'm about to um be heading back to my car so now that um i've got my groceries and i've done my walking for the day we can head back home. I'm gonna just obviously unload my groceries, take me a shower, and then start cooking. Okay, y'all, so I'm back home now. Um, I just got out the shower. While I was in the shower, I went ahead and put five eggs on the stove and let those boil. So now, y'all, I'm about to go ahead and make my tuna salad. So um, I make my tuna salad normal. I just like mayonnaise, mustard. I like to season it. Of course, I like to add egg. And then I also like to add grapes to my tuna salad. Um, I know some people like to add like bell peppers and onions and stuff like that. I don't really like to do all of that. But when I make my sandwich, I'm going to show y'all how I make it. And I make mine a little different because I add like a little extra something to it. So y'all will see that in a minute. Okay, so I cut up my grapes, cut up my um, eggs, and then I'm about to go ahead and season it. I added a little bit of mayo and mustard. Y'all know how it is when you gotta just add a little bit at first and then if you need to add more, you do that. Okay. 
Okay, y'all, so my salad is done. I'm about to go ahead and just um, wrap this up with some foil and let it sit in the refrigerator for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, because y'all, I like my salad to be really cold. I do not like no hot tuna salad. All right, y'all, so it's been an hour. So I'm about to go ahead and make my sandwich. So this is the bread that I like. This is the Arnold 100% whole wheat. And y'all, this bread is actually really, really good. So I'm just going to toast that lightly. Y'all, this is like my personal little way of doing things. This is how I like it. You know, everybody has their thing. I like to add a little bit of honey mustard, just a little bit to the bottom bread. Then I um, put the tuna salad on top lettuce and tomatoes well no i like to put the tuna salad on top the cheese i like my provolone cheese then my lettuce and my tomato with a little bit more honey mustard and then obviously the top bread so y'all i know some people probably might be thinking like honey mustard on tuna but y'all don't knock it until you try it i actually started doing this when i was working at subway back in the day y'all like you know i used to just be trying all type of different stuff so yeah and y'all my chips that i'm gonna be eating are the ruffles bait these are my absolute favorite so yeah my bread is done well now let me get my tuna okay so provolone cheese i love provolone cheese y'all two tomatoes Okay, y'all, so here is my little tuna sandwich. Okay, y'all, so this is my dinner. I'm about to go in the living room and probably get on Hulu, find something good to watch. And y'all, I'm finna tear this food up because I am hungry. If y'all haven't had this bread before, definitely try it. I like the Arnold's brand specifically better than like Pepperidge Farm and like the other brands. So yeah, if y'all have never tried it before, go give it a try and let me know if y'all like it. Because I really do like their whole wheat. And if y'all have never had these chips, then you must be sleep. Like, these were my favorite chips even in like middle school. Oh my gosh, me and Kiera, my friend Kiera, we used to love these damn chips. But yeah, y'all, so I'm about to go in the living room, find me something to watch. I'm going to come back. After I fill myself up, y'all. After I eat. I ended up putting on Soul Plane. And that's what I just been in here watching. Y'all, I'm not going to lie. I had done dozed off on this couch. <laughs> and when I woke up, um, it was so funny. Because when I woke up, Kevin Hart was on the toilet. Let me um flip the camera, y'all. So y'all don't have to keep staring at this. Okay, I turned my light on because it was dark. But, um, yeah, I just been in here watching this movie, y'all. I ate. My food was good. And then I dozed off and I woke back up. So, I'm about to get up and get out of this living room. Go lay in my bed. And I'm about to go to sleep, y'all. I'm tired. It's the end of the day. I'm about to go ahead and just call it a night. All right, y'all, so that concludes the video. If you enjoyed this day in the life vlog and if you made it all the way to the end, then give your girl a thumbs up and drop me some comments down below. As always, I really, really appreciate y'all for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.